Uh, so good day, my name is David Ronin Reyes, and I am back for the part 2 of my Lab 3 vlog, which is the 5-bit comparator. So uh, uh, I've actually uh, finished the part 1, which um, uh, is about the creation of the uh, comparator, and now we'll just create the 5-bit part. So uh, let me just... Uh, return to our logism file and I'll start creating it now first we'll need a input and another input so let's just label this as a and this one as B actually this one B edit its data bits to 5 since it's a 5 bit and this one to 5 as well so a a I'll just change this to south and this one as well. South. Now, however, uh, the comparator we've created here has five uh, five inputs, input bits, and since we've separated, uh, we've only got uh, two A and B. We should, uh, and this is for a one bit. We'll need five of these, by the way. So, yeah. Five. Four. And then four. There. We actually created five. And we'll be needing a, um, a splitter. So, let's just change this to five. This one as well to five place it to south I mean it's just I mean, south and then appearance centered there and we could just simply put that here so control C control V and copy it here now let's uh, add our outputs which are similar to how we created it a while ago. So let's just first uh, add A is less than B. E is equal to A is equal to B. Oh, A is equal to B. And lastly, A is greater than greater than B. So uh, let's connect this ones. So uh, as I've said a while earlier, uh, this is called the uh, cascading comparator. So as you can see now, uh, our two main inputs, which is A and B, actually uh, connects wait I'll just connect it here a and then B and then C and then D uh, Let's just connect it here. Now let's just connect this ones now. And then this ones. And our last one. Just actually this one. So we could actually label this as one bit. So um, now we, as you can see, uh, our A's are distributed at the five comparators, and the B is also distributed at the five comparators. However, uh, 
the output, the inputs for this one is the output of this one. And that is actually observed for all the other bits. Now, uh, we actually need a ground for this. So let's just create this one and then that one and an input here. There. So as you can see, this is our 5-bit comparator. And let's just change the values to see how it works. And as you can see, it actually uh, works well. And project uh, analyze circuit oh, cannot actually handle that one. So yeah, that's all for our 5-bit comparator. And that concludes my uh, uh, my lab three vlog. So thank you.